Hi everyone, it's Zach with Palantir Research. Palantir gets a new deal with the largest home infusion services provider in the United States, Option Care Health. And in the headline, it's an enterprise-wide digital transformation. So I'll go with the deal first, but why this is actually a bigger deal later on. So first, this is a multi-year commercial deal as noted in the PR and makes sense because it is an enterprise-wide transformation for the organization and probably already went through some form of a trial. But this is another customer in the healthcare sector, which is one of the major opportunities and growing points for Palantir. AIP is the main driver here, where they're trying to go and use Palantir for nurse scheduling, patient onboarding, purchasing optimizations, and supply chain execution. So these are the major ones already being worked on at other healthcare customers for Palantir. So the importance here is that they've already built out the experience and probably similar solutions at other organizations. So they have the evidence and reputation building up that they can already provide these services and transform your organization with an idea of the kind of positive changes they can implement at your organization, and maybe even promise some form of performance. Now, they reveal what kind of metrics they'll try to improve, which would be optimizing their visits per day and increasing patient face time with clinicians, while also reducing their administrative burden with their supply chain, as well as making sure that drugs and medical supplies are correctly stocked. So the cool part of this, while trying to optimize visits, meaning seeing the most patients with the right amount of staff, while increasing face time with clinicians seems to be the opposites and work against each other. But with only achieving greater efficiency, this is how to actually resolve the issue. Throwing more staff at this actually won't increase that face time per patient, so you need to find a way to do this with the right amount of time per patient while being staffed correctly. Then for reducing admin burden, but also optimizing supply chain, and with the medical supplies and drugs and having a shelf life specifically for infusion services, it's a delicate get balanced there predicting your correct existing number of patients as well as current ones and as though the likeliness of those dropping off maybe finishing treatment change of treatment or change of life events so across a nation and a whole company this really adds up and the delicate balance there of managing your supply chain is there and hopefully Palantir can make this easier for them now for the scale and also mentioned this is in the PR that option care is the largest independent provider of home and alternative site infusion services meaning they're not necessarily associated with the health system so as a standalone company they have a lot of influence in the healthcare space here spreading out throughout the country. They are publicly traded, so the good thing for us at least is we're able to see some level of public information on their performance financially over time, and hopefully implementing Palantir will make it apparent in a big way when we see their future earnings. Their latest financials show they do a little over a billion dollars in net revenue per quarter with around a 50 million-ish in net income, so they do around 4 billion in a revenue per year. Now, the importance of this partnership, besides being in healthcare and commercial for multiple years, is that Palantir is getting deeper into to healthcare at a more specific level. This isn't another large healthcare system that is trying to manage their footprint in an area, but rather this is specifically an infusion services company, meaning what is next for Palantir. They are able to operate at the more general levels, like we've seen before, but also at the specific treatment levels of healthcare, meaning they can get into specialized services as well. So I wouldn't be surprised to see more of these kind of deals in the future, like maybe a DME or durable medical equipment provider, or maybe home health nursing or dialysis services or telehealth some more. So there's great news to start off the week for Palantir and I'll see you in the next video.